And, you know, that reckless power and confidence in aggression, much like Vanderlei Silva back in the day, you know, if you can cover distance and take your feet with you, um, and, and you're hitting with power and you're hitting with volume and you're you're landing in a variety of different targets. In mixed martial arts, those four ounce gloves always get through. There's always something that lands. And and oftentimes with, with Jessica Andrade, the body shot is the thing that stands out. You know, we saw it, I think it was was it Jessica Penne she caught? Obviously the last one against Chikagian. Um yeah, Jessica Penne. I remember her landing a shot to the body, just a dig, dig. And you can see her opponents just just cave. They just crumble on the spot because, well, all of a sudden you can't breathe. You know, all of a sudden the 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 oxy, the, the the wind in your lungs has been knocked out of you, and and you can't take a breath. And at the same time, this this crazy pile driver, which uh, which is what a nickname translates to, according to Mike Goldberg back in the day, um, he said it every fight. It was it was quite consistent. Her nickname Joe translates to pile driver. Anyway. <clears throat> With that being said, that that is what she brings to the table. You know, she is she is a powerhouse, and she's had one fight in this weight class so far in the UFC, and it was right at the end of the first round she stopped Chikagian, who's you know I think she was number one contender at the time, having just lost to Shevchenko. Caught her with a body shot. You know, we saw the same thing from Chikagian. She folded. She crumbled. She couldn't couldn't maintain for you know ten more seconds to you know to get to the bell. Must have been a horrendously powerful shot, and 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 I think that's the that's the X factor for um, Jessica Andrade here. Obviously, it's the power that she brings to the table. We saw what she did to Rose to win the belt. You know, picked her up twice in the first round, wasn't able to slam her on her head. Third time around, start the second round. She you know she clamped onto that uh, <laughs> clamped onto that Kimura trap and paid for it. And and the the, the power that Jessica Andrade brings to the octagon is, is, is always evident. <laughs> Valentina Shevchenko is probably one of the best fighters to manage that power. I mean, you've got to think she was fighting at bantamweight and she was competitive with Amanda Nunes, which is very difficult to say for everybody else in the sport. Um, that shows how high her skill level is because she's the smaller fighter naturally. She's not nearly as powerful as Amanda Nunes, but was able to be very competitive at every range because she's very technical there's still an inherent danger in fighting someone like Jessica Andrade you know because she swarms because she attacks with with volume and because she she attacks several different targets not forgetting about the body 26% of her strikes go to the body there's there's always a concern that Valentina for Valentina Shevchenko when she is under attack that something's going to get through and and she has several different ways of dealing with this. Kind of like uh, Rose against Zhang Wei Li. You know, footwork is going to be a key. Um, uh, Shevchenko is a southpaw. So she's, you know, she's going to be in a position where she can circle towards the lead foot of Jessica Andrade and keep powering her, peppering her with that powerful uh, left rear kick. Um, she's also got good hop side kicks as well, which is good because Jessica Andrade, she does tend to move in a straight line when she's attacking. Um the the downside to Jessica Andrade's game is because she's not very calculated with her delivery of her strikes, she's also not very calculated with her footwork. So there is an opportunity here for Shevchenko to run her in circles and force uh, Jessica Andrade to chase her. Um, in that case, that's where Shevchenko can start laying traps. You know, she's backing up, she's moving away, she's expecting Andrade to run onto her and then she can start sniping her with straight shots and, and body kicks. And I think that she can be very effective. She's not got the same kind of stopping power as Andrade, but then if you can catch Andrade moving forward, you know, nice knee to the body or straight down the pipe as she's moving on, you're utilizing that force that's coming at you as well, which would be a good way for, for Valentina Shevchenko to make the most of the fact that she's fighting a power striker would be to, you know, absorb what is useful and use it against her. 